Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and it's Deb C and the place to be, it's Deb C. Bloop, bloop, that's me, boop, Deb C. Hey guys, happy Friday. It is the weekend and it is the second day of my mini, no, my November mini vacay. It is also the birthday of the greatest human to have ever been in my life. And that is my mother, Dolly. If you have not done so, um, or if you'd like to do so again, please in the comments, um, wish my mom a, ha a happy birthday. Um, she's just the best. My mother is just the absolute best. I know I am partial because she's my mom, but she just is. My mother is the greatest. My mother is the greatest person that I will ever know in my lifetime. So I'm not here to talk about my mother, although I could, I for I could go on for deck for for hours and hours and probably days but um last night I watched two reality shows um I watched Golden Bachelor Women Tell All and Bachelor in Paradise I am going to talk about um Golden Bachelor Women Tell All um and this was different from most of the Women Tell All Usually on the women tell all or men tell all, it's a lot of cattiness and a lot of yelling and pointing fingers and insults. This was completely different and it was refreshing to see. Um, this was all of the women. Um, if you've never watched a women tell all, it's just all the women come back and they talk about the season. Um, they talk about their connections with the bachelor or bachelorette. And that's what they did in this in this episode as well. However, if there was one word that you could take away from this episode, it was hope. And I'm going to tell you this. Um, I'm not going to be able to hide um, my feelings. I never can. Like as as anyone who watches my videos knows, whatever is in here or whatever is in here is on here. Like, I just can't, I can't hide it. But Jesse had said it, that if you take anything from this show this season, it was, it was hope. And that is the hope that there is a love out there for you. And even if you are of a certain age and society is not really not really making it abundantly clear that there's love for everyone. Um, this show just showed everybody, listen, no matter what your age, there is hope for you. So starting off, um, they start off with Susan. Susan, listen, I've made also made no um, qualms of it. I did, I've never hidden it that Susan was my favorite. Susan was my favorite from day one, was my favorite throughout, and is still my favorite. Um, Susan had said her son had given her some grief in her, um, line that she gave to Gary when she got out of the limo. And that was, see these heels, Gary, I'm very comfortable with six inches. And she was like, he was mortified that I, he was mad that I said that. And knowing he was mad, I should have said eight inches instead of six. So that's another reason. Like Susan was just like, listen, I'm going to say what I'm going to say, deal with it. And so I like that. Um, here's another thing. They, they asked, um, April chicken lady, they asked April what, um, what her grandkids thought about her, about them seeing her grandma, their grandma kissing on TV. And she said that she had toned down the kissing. She had toned it down because her kids, her grandkids and her kids were watching but she said she thinks she might have tuned it down, turned it down a little too much. I'm going to say during the during the, the the season, I was not really that big a fan of April, and I was not a big fan at all of Kathy's. Both of them in this setting, I was. I, I'm not going to say I'm a super huge fan of them, but I didn't mind them at all. Um, Kathy, they did ask Kathy about Teresa and Teresa had said, you know, we're all in this situation where we're dating the same man. And 
feelings are heightened and everything is probably, she didn't say this, but I'm thinking that when you're in that situation, this, that your feelings are even more heightened. Like your feelings are even bigger because everybody's seeing this and it's more of like, it's this competition. So some people were just more competitive than others. Kathy is just a little bit more competitive. And she was saying that she could have been a little bit more delicate in the situation. I mean, Teresa could have zipped it, but so could she if she could have zipped it as well. And she did wish um, both ladies that are left um, luck and she wants nothing but happiness for everyone, which was which was really nice to see. Um, listen, Marina was there and Marina was the beautiful, I thought she was absolutely beautiful, beautiful Indian woman um, who had gotten a rose on the first night. And then you never saw her after that. And Marina was there, uh, but nobody had, I've never seen anything anywhere as to why Marina wasn't there after the first show. I know she got a, a rose. I guess we'll never know. Um, listen, Susan, I absolutely, I love Susan. Susan, the reason why I love Susan, she's truly a girl's girl. She's not just one of these people who's like, I'm a girl's girl, and then goes and stabs somebody in the back. She's not. She's, they're supporting, uh, supporting the women. Um, and I just, I just loved her. And her sense of humor was amazing. Like, she fully admitted on screen that she had gas. Like she had to stick her butt out the door because she had gas. She was she was blaming it on the guacamole on Ida's guacamole, and they were all blaming it on her meatballs. Jesse was like, "Do you think it's maybe the meatballs?" Jesse, don't you come for the meatballs? Listen, listen, don't you come for the meatballs? As Italian, I take offense at. Don't you come for the meatballs? But Susan was so inspiring because she was like, "Listen, no matter what is happening, no matter." what has happened or, you know, how down you may feel, there's always hope and just pick yourself up, put on a cute outfit and just pick yourself up and just know that your day is coming and, and, and there's a lot of life to live. Now, I know that if you're, if you're struggling, like if you're really struggling with, uh, with a mental illness, I know that putting on, just putting on an outfit or putting on some, you know, lipstick or something isn't going to totally wipe it away. But I like the message that she had of, listen, you might feel like you're down and out today, but there's hope. There's always hope. That was, that was the big message of this, of this season and of this show. It's that there's always hope. Um, and listen, everybody, including me, thought that there was a little bit of a resemblance between Susan and Kris Jenner. I'm really not a fan of the Kardashian Kardashians at all. I consider myself to be, I consider it an accomplishment for me being a major reality TV show lover that I have never watched a second of the, of any of the Kardashian shows. I'm so proud of that. If you've watched them and you love them, good for you. I, can't stand them. And I'm not a fan of Kris Jenner's, but she's worldwide. Like she's big. And for her to send that, that, um, message that I don't know, I don't know why Jesse had to show his phone. He had to be like, look, you mean they couldn't have taken and pulled all these people that you have working on this TV show, these, these technological people, they couldn't have just pulled it from the phone and put it up. I, I was like, why? But she had said that they, they've been watching it. They've been watching since Trista and Ryan. And they've been inspired by the show. They love all the ladies. But her girl is Susan. And Susan got teary-eyed. Susan was like, I love her. And as, honestly, I'm going to tell you. After this show, I think, I think that probably... The next Golden Bachelor, the first Golden Bachelor, Bachelorette is probably going to be um, the the woman who was eliminated last, and I wouldn't have a problem with that. But you know that my 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 vote is for Susan. Um, next up, they had Joan. They had a one on one with Joan. Um, she, watching it back, she said, watching it back, she said she feels 
she feels bad that she let Gary down. Um, she was, she was just being a mom. And the thing that she said kind of even made it worse for her was when Gary said, we both have the same moral compass, meaning he would have done the same thing for his child. Um, and that made her see that there's like so many great qualities that he has that would have made for like a great husband. And she could have really, after that date, she could really see her having a long life with him. Um, like I said, that's, that's what hurt her the most because she, she said that she couldn't get on, she couldn't get on the plane quick enough to get to her daughter. However, that is what hurt the most. The fact that she saw so many great qualities in him that would make just a, a, for a fantastic husband. She also, and this is what, what was really sad with her. She had said that um, she, she opened her heart finally. And finally with Gary, she felt like she was seen and she wasn't just invisible. Like, because she said that with society, um, I, with society, once you get to a certain age, it suddenly becomes about the, 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 the younger generation. Let's focus on them. And if you're a want, if you're, um, an, a senior citizen and you're a, and you're a female senior citizen, you feel kind of invisible. And she finally doesn't feel that way because of Gary. Yeah. It was so sweet. Um, next was Ellen. Ellen's one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to tell you, Ellen's one-on-one -on -one, out of everybody's elimination. Ellen's was the one that shocked me probably the most. Um, she's saying she let down her walls. Um, she became vulnerable and then she was just let go. And that's what hurt her um, the most. And listen, I know that after watching so many years of these, that they're going to put the little the little reaction in the corner screen. Um, uh, I kind of wish they didn't because she looked, she looked heartbroken and she looked kind of embarrassed. And I kind of wish they didn't do that. I know I'm the person, the only person that's saying that. I kind of wish they wouldn't have on, on this show. Um, and, and she had said that basically this, she was shocked, but this shows that she's worthy of finding love and that she's ready and she's really ready to get out there and find love. And then they talked about her best friend, Roberta, of 60 years. Um, and she, oh my God. And she had said that, it was, um, it was her, it was Roberta's last wish for Ellen to make it on the show and to watch the premiere with her and to watch the season with her. And sadly enough, um, Ellen had gotten home and Roberta was in a semi coma and she was like, I really, I'm, I'm holding on so we can watch this. And Ellen had said to her, please please, I don't want you to suffer anymore and, and you'll, you'll be fine. And, and she had passed and she had said, we're just, we're watching it. We're just watching it in different locations. And, oh my gosh. And then Roberta's daughter, Courtney was there and it was just, it was, oh my gosh, it was gut wrenching, but it was so it was so nice to see. Um, so the final rose, the rose ceremony, they picked back up where they left off. Um, okay. So I'm going to tell you, um, I, I was not, I was not surprised that he picked Teresa. I, I think I called it in the last video that I think he's going to pick Teresa. That's so when I say I wasn't surprised, that doesn't mean I wasn't shocked. I was shocked that he picked Teresa over Faith. Um, the reason why I say that was I, I don't know, I feel like I feel like he had a stronger connection with Faith. Um, you know, and this this show really didn't do. This show really didn't do anything to shed light on why he didn't 
why he picked Teresa over Faith. Um, I, I, I will say this. Listen, I, I'm sure Teresa is a very, a very nice woman. Um, I don't know that I buy it. Like, I don't know. There's just something about her with Gary that I, I don't know. I just, it's something. I, I don't know what it is, but I don't know if she's like, if she's real about this. I, I listen, that's just how I'm thinking. I don't know. Um, so they talk to, to Faith. Um, she said she's, she's devastated because she saw a hope in her son's eyes and, and, and it, now it's just, now it's gone. She said she's numb and maybe how she felt was just all in her, all in her head. And the whole show was about having hope. And when she said that, um, that she lost hope and she's wondering if it would ever work out for her. Oh, listen, I'm going to tell you, Joan, I was sad. Um, Joan was sad. Joan made me sad. Ellen broke my heart a little. Faith, when Gary came out and she hugged him and she could not stop crying, that wasn't just a cry. That wasn't just like a little cry. That you could tell. You could tell that was just coming from deep within. And you could tell that she was shattered. Her heart was just broken in a million pieces. And she said she was shattered. She said to him that this connection that they build up and she and he told her he loved her and it was so strong and then she and then when she was eliminated and he walked her out and then it just looked like that there was this disconnect immediately and she was looking at a stranger and she didn't know what happened i'm going to tell you i feel like he didn't really he didn't really do a lot in my mind to tell her what happened he just said that there were other people. I just don't, I don't know. I thought he did her dirty. I, 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 I thought he kind of did her dirty. Um, and she was, she was saying, you know, she felt safe. She didn't feel safe for a long time. And once again, she took down her walls and she was vulnerable. And then to have it just be gone like that. I, I completely agree with this. Now, listen, after a bit of a time, uh, this is what pissed me off about, listen, uh, at the beginning of the season, we were all like, protect Gary, protect this man. I'm still saying somewhat protect him, but I was a little pissed at the end when she's out here, she's crying her heart out on national TV, and then she has to console him? She has to console him. She's a better person than I am. A much better person than I am. No. Uh-uh. She had to console him. And here's another thing. Whenever the thing that always got me about him was when the women would say, oh, I love you. I'm falling in love with you. He would say something like, you don't know how, much, how great that makes me feel. Or, oh, it's so special to hear you say that. That is one step away from him saying thank you. Ugh. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. So it looks like we have, it looks like the finale is going to be, did they say on November 30th? This is, they're dragging this out. Um, and in the preview, no, Gary, I don't, I don't think anybody uses the term knocking boots because he's like, people in our generation, we still knock boots. Nope. Nobody's using knocking boots. I really don't think, and let me know in the comments if anybody's using the phrase knocking boots. I don't think anybody's using knocking boots. So they showed a preview. Um, it looks to me like he's saying to Leslie that um, she's the one. And it looks like his, Gary's daughter says, you know, I don't know if she's if she's all there for it. And then she goes, that's that's me. That's the face I would make. Um, I, I really, to be honest with you, I think he's going to pick Leslie. If he doesn't pick Leslie, um, 
I might say it and then I might do it because that would be really surprising. That being said, I'm not really that big a fan of either one of the final two, but if I have to pick a side, um, I would probably say Team Leslie. And and like I said, I'm uh, I can give or take Leslie. You know, I will say I do not. I would not. I don't want to say I would not be okay if she was the Golden Bachelorette. But don't make her the Golden Bachelorette. Like, have it be either number one, Susan. Number two, and these two are interchangeable. The other two could be um, Faith or Joan. So there we go. Or Sandra. Because Sandra, listen, Sandra's 75. She's playing pickleball. She's doing all these damn activities. Sandra is amazing. All these women were. So, with that being said, let me know in the comments if you watched um, and if you did, who you're rooting for. Were you shocked? What did you think about this Women Tell All? And also, um, if nobody told you yet today, I love you. You're loved, seen, and heard. Please make sure that you put love, kindness, compassion, acceptance, hope, positivity, and understanding out there. Please also take care of one another. And listen, no matter where you're at, please, number one, be aware of your surroundings. Number two, always stay safe. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I love you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.